Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, coming at you from the Modern Wall Street studio here on, of all places, Wall Street. And what a wild trading session we've had. We've had, we've had the combination of tax reform. We've had Fed changes, 23,500. And here on Modern Wall Street, we've also had three additional interviews on top of our already normally busy schedule. What a day it's been, and all I can say is the following. It is, honestly, time for us to break out of this office and enjoy the time because it's nearly 4 o'clock. The market's there about to close. I want to go out and celebrate happy hour right here in the Big Apple. To say it's been a wild trading session would be an understatement today. U.S. equities, they were mixed and then soared this Thursday afternoon as investors, they continue to look over details of the tax reform plan proposed by the Republican Party. Now, that plan would permanently lower the corporate tax rate to 20 percent. It would also keep retirement savings plans like 401k intact. Yet the plan would also cut mortgage interest deductions in half, eventually hitting home builder and consumer related shares. Also, it lowers the tax rate on repatriated cash to 12 percent. Now, the full bill was released this morning and President Donald Trump praised this as the biggest tax event ever in the history of our country. And the Trump talk does not end there, as investors also saw Donald Trump nominate Fed Governor Jerome Powell to become the central bank's next chair. If confirmed, Powell would replace Janet Yellen, who took over as Fed chair back in 2014. In other words, goodbye Janet Yellen. We've only known you for three years. Also, Wall Street keeping an eye on earnings after Facebook posted better than expected quarterly results. And with Apple, their earnings due out shortly after the bell. Let's take a look now to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this historic trading session in the Big Apple. And with that state of kickback, relax again. A big congratulations to the Houston Astros for winning Game 7 yesterday. Much deserved and a great way to end what definitely was a classic World Series. For Modern Wall Street saying I'll see you guys all tomorrow. And it's Friday. I'm James Sweeney.